What's up? I see you. Where you going? Gotcha. Who are you? What is good, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. It is your boy, A Chill Blaze. And today, we are playing Alan Wake, part two. So, last gameplay of part one, we were the main character, Alan Wake, and we had like two nightmares where we had to fight this hitchhiker dude in one of them. And then the other, well, the other nightmare actually wasn't a nightmare. It was like we were living our regular life because we're on vacation with our right our, yeah. we're on vacation with our wife right now and uh something happened in the house to where she got pushed in the water and we dove after her but when we jumped in we ended up being in a car in an accident you know so it's not really a nightmare more like a time gap or something like that so today we're gonna go ahead and figure out what's gonna happen next if we'll be able to get our wife back and what the heck is going on because I'm still I still really don't know what's going on so kick back relax and let's get in the mix let's get busy okay so we're back in the mix here where we left off last time we got our accident and we need to find our wife the gas station was my best bet they'd have a phone i could use it looked like a long hike through the forest to get there well i guess we don't really have another choice do we Crap. damn oh Well, hope you got uh, insurance on that, cause you're not getting that back. Hello? Is it the big ball of light again? Lies a deeper, darker ocean green, where waves are both wilder and more serene. To its ports I've been. Hello? Is someone there? The loose sheets of paper were pages from a manuscript entitled Departure. That was the name I planned to use for the next novel I had never gotten started. I was named the author. I hadn't written it. I couldn't remember writing it. In the scene on the page, the hero was attacked by an axe murderer in the woods at night. Wait a minute! <laughs> that's, uh, that's the situation we're in right now. The man turned to face me. His face was covered in shadows. It was hard to make him out in the darkness of the forest that surrounded us. But the axe he lifted was plain to see. It glistened with the blood of his victim. He grinned madly. The shadows were alive, distorting his features. It was a scene from a nightmare. But I was awake. Okay, then. Anybody there? Please! I've been in an accident! Okay. Right, you had a random page just fly at you about a novel that you haven't written yet about you being in the woods or someone being in the woods at night with a guy with an axe was about to kill him. And you just saw a flicker of someone with an axe. You really think you should be saying something right now? Nope. The lights up ahead were a good sign. Maybe I wouldn't have to hike all the way down to the gas station to find a phone. I mean, it's not that far away from each other. Anybody there? Please, I've been in an accident. Hey, hey, you! Phil. There's been an accident. I need help. Listen, Deposit. I need to. Premium cabins for rent in. Right. Oh. oh hell, Carl Stucky. Please, to beat you. Non-refundable reservation deposit required. What is wrong with bro? Fair and square. Uh, Where'd he go? I thought he was about to charge us. Uh, fair and square. 
Okay, so this is really actually kill someone. Is that page? Read that, read that, read that. The Taken stood before me. It was impossible to focus on it, as if it stood in a blind spot caused by a brain tumor and eye disease. It was bleeding shadows like ink underwater, like a cloud of blood from a shark bite. I was terrified. I squeezed the flashlight like my life depended on it, willing it to stop coming any closer. Suddenly something gave, and the light seemed to shine brighter. But you know, but there's one issue. We don't have a light! <laughs> I had to figure a way out of this. Any second now, and Stucky would be knocking on the door with his axe like Nicholson in The Shining. There just happens to be a revolver and a flashlight at a construction site? I like it. What's up with it? Come on out. I wasn't about to open the door, as long as I was liable to catch an axe with my forehead. I mean, we, we're prepared now. We got a light and we got a gun. During your record, trying your Still there? It's the lady. Oh, yeah, we can't see him. In. Use the phone, yep. Test the blade. Yes. Proving. Help. Bright Falls Sheriff Station. Oh, man. Hello? 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 Oh, my goodness. You can see the sight. And keep those cold. Oh, no. This bad. Uh, get out. Get out. Oh, so we would have died, died. Oh, yeah. We would have died, died. Right now. Oh, bro, I just want to find my wife. Yep. Hi, man. Oh. Hi, man. My head pounded with a concussion. I'd never fired a gun outside a shooting range, and now I just killed someone or something. Trust there me, were no bro. bodies. They just disappeared. If I was dreaming, it felt real enough to make me sick. That was not a person. And what is this? The yellow? Are those arrows for where we need to go? Because, yeah, we, we can't touch that. We got over here. Anything? Kick it. The dark forest was the last place I wanted to go, but I had no choice. I had to get to the gas station. Oh, so we can go up there. Then what were these arrows? Why are they pointing over here? What is this? Eerie hand-painted graffiti was revealed by my flashlight. Someone had hidden a chest of supplies near it. Oh. I'm glad I followed that. Oh, pick up the ammo, pick up the ammo. Is there ammo? Yeah, I'm glad I followed that. Okay, so yellow arrows help us out. Good to know. Oh, it's another page. What is this, Slenderman? Oh, another page, another page. Get it, get it, get it. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Ah! Rose Day. Rose knew she had been gushing, but right now, she didn't care. As far as she was concerned, her brief meeting with Alan Wake was literally the high point of her life. She watched as he got in the car with his wife. She was pretty, confident, at ease with Wake. Not like Rose. They were perfect for each other. She'd have given anything to be called their friend. Are we gonna have some dealing with Rose then? At some point? Since basically, this, uh... Hey, this these pages from your book they can tell the future I'm just guessing I, I'm just guessing y'all don't don't call me on anything I'm just trying to put things together flare flare Aha. what <laughs> Yeah, all the way around. 
reload that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Easy work. Look at that. I'm, I'm becoming a natural now. Easy. What's in here? You got... There's a shotgun? Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. We're gonna, we're gonna save that. Alright, there's a page here. Wake attacked by birds. I heard them before I saw them. Swooping down from the sky and screeching as they came. I spun around just as the cloud was upon me. For an instant, I stared into a hundred dead eyes. Black pearls glittering in the darkness. I raised the flashlight and the swarm exploded like fireworks. Feathers burned, turned into ash. I couldn't hear my scream above theirs. Okay, then. Hello. Oh, well, a page. Cool. <clears throat> At first, I kept finding the pages as if by accident. The book I couldn't remember was either a terrible and true prophecy or an act of creation that had rewritten the world. I began to hunt the pages feverishly, for they held the answer to the mystery. Yep. With it, I could save myself. With it, I could save Alice. Agreed. Those pages are way more than just pages. lot to think about when you're trying to kill these dudes and the controls aren't necessarily <laughs> in e easy places is that a page it is what's it say i stepped into the gas station's garage it was dark and quiet the place was a mess it looked like someone trashed the place or that there'd been some kind of fight Light spilled into the room through an open door at the back, and I made my way toward it. Without any warning, I was blinded by a bright light. An old portable TV on the shelf had come alive by itself. Impossibly, I could see myself on the screen, talking like a madman. Well, at least we know that we made it to the gas station. Back here. Oh, is that another page? Wake lies to the sheriff. The cabin on Cauldron Lake? She asked. The sheriff looked at me suspiciously. The early morning light flooded through the office windows. I would probably never have gotten out of the woods alive without her help. But I couldn't tell her the truth of what I'd faced the previous night. She'd think I was lying or crazy. She'd lock me up. And she wouldn't help me find Alice. Probably. Bottom areas where bros can just pop out and attack. Oh no! Even with 
Got some for you. There we go. Is an easy and fatal Oh, hold on, there's a couple. Wait, 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 what? What's up? What's up? Ooh. Dude, this one's different. Where'd he go? What's up? Can't move. What's up? I see you. Where you going? Gotcha. Who are you? That one was like a grunt. Stucky's body vanished. That was Stucky. Only a lifetime of nightmares to come. Assuming I'd reached the lights of the gas station alive. Okay, so Stucky was a different type of shade. I'm calling these bros shades. Like, bro could, like, well, what's what's the word I'm looking for? He could phase in and out of, uh, ooh, thermos. He could phase in and out so where I couldn't shoot him or hit him with a flashlight. Like, bro basically flashed at me. So, and it, I, I think he takes... I think you need to hit him a lot more times as well to kill him. Cause that was four four blasts with the shotgun shells. I mean with the shotgun, so yeah. After the insanity I had just experienced in the darkness, the lights of the gas station felt comforting. At least for a moment, the sane world reasserted itself. Understandable. He spat on the garage floor and tried to shake the cobwebs from his head. Ever since the couple never showed to pick up the keys, things had been fuzzy. Something, a feeling caught his attention. Stucky looked up and stared as his brain tried in vain to process the horror before him. He stumbled back, knocking over a can of oil. A black pool spread across the floor while he struggled for a brief moment, then let go as the unrelenting darkness engulfed him. Wow. So, bro was attacked by the shade and got possessed. The deer fest had been two weeks away when we arrived. If the day count on the banner was right, I was missing a whole week between the night we got here and now. You wait, you missed a whole week? I'm lost. But that would, I won't say that would make sense. But it's like the time between you jumping into the water and you, you know, being in a car the driving somewhere. The garage was a mess. It looked like someone had trashed time. the place or that there'd been some kind of fight. Yeah, we, okay, yeah, we, this was in the page. All right, I'll keep writing. Outside, there's only darkness. Outside the cabin, outside the story, there's only darkness. I can feel her presence in the dark. Just now, I could smell her perfume in the room. I'll reach her. I'll fix it up. I'll bring her back. The story will come true. If I stop, she's lost. I don't believe what? this. It'd been me on the TV, talking crazy. Was I losing my mind? Bro, forget you talking. Did you see what you were doing? You were using the typewriter that you, your wife gave you, and you started typing. It sounded like you lost your wife, and you tried to bring her back with words. I don't, I don't know if that's how that works. Use the phone, yeah. Rainfall Sheriff Station. This is the lady that came to help us. And that we can't tell her anything. Oh, thank God, Sheriff. Sheriff Sarah Breaker. Relax. You are... I'm Alan Wake, but listen. 
I was in a car crash. My wife, Alice, she's missing. Calm down, Mr. Wade. We were staying in a cabin on the island, on Cauldron Lake. There's no Calm island down. on Cauldron Lake. Not since the big eruption in the 70s. Please, I can take you there, okay? You look like you've taken a pretty bad knock to the head. Are you okay? Listen. We'll figure this out. Please get in the car. We'll swing by the lake, and then we'll go to the station, okay? Mr. Wake, have you seen Stucky, the guy who owns this place? Yeah, you killed him. I realized I couldn't tell her what had happened in the forest. <laughs> she wouldn't have believed me. And then she wouldn't have helped me with Alice. Oh, jeez. Oh, there's nothing by the lake, huh? But, alrighty guys, that is it for the gameplay today. Um, so, like I said before, I'm gonna just keep doing, I'm just gonna stop each video at the end of every episode, so that way it'll be easier to follow. But yeah, basically this episode, this episode that we did with both videos combined, it's like, there's a lot that kind of happened. And then in this video that we did, I mean, we ended up in the forest and we were in an accident. But surprisingly though, we lost a week of time. That's what bruh said when we got to the gas station. We lost a week of time. So I don't know what happened in between that time. And on top of that, Stucky, which I finally remember now, I think he was the guy at the store that was supposed to give us the keys. Um, and somehow he was engulfed in darkness, probably by that old lady that was in there maybe did something to him but um but yeah and now we got back to the to the lake and the place that we were residing in for like barely a night is gone so it's like where's alice like i don't i don't even know what the next steps are but we're with the sheriff we're in the station so we'll see about it we'll see what's going to happen in the next video i hope you guys did enjoy the gameplay and I will see you guys in the next video. Catch you later.